everyone and welcome to my channel Elizabeth here and I'm so happy that today we can share some time together and uh, this video is for the hashtag sad more makes this is like my fourth video for this year and I'm so happy and very thrilled to share with you today something a little bit different but if you remember uh, when the year started I said that I wanted to include a lot of cross stitching this year in my crafting and that's what we are going to talk about today but before sharing you uh, what I've been working on this week I want to start by welcoming aboard to all of my new subscribers thank you so very much for joining me here in my little crafty space I really hope that you find interesting adorable and of course inspiring everything that I share every week okay please remember that uh, this video is for the hashtag sad more makes and that you should be checking out this hashtag not only here on youtube but also on instagram because every week everybody is sharing amazing ideas you're gonna get inspired and uh, you're gonna get a lot of ideas to create on your own okay so as i said we're going to be talking about cross teaching and this is what i'm working on for the past three weeks look at this super cute i'm using this uh, uh cloth that is uh, 16 count so uh, the stitches are really tiny but I really love how it looks so yeah this is what I've been working on so the first tip that I have for you is that I usually use the whole piece of cloth but you know it starts to fray so uh, for starters I used this fray check it works but it doesn't work as i expected it to uh, work so it was still fraying a little bit in some places so what i did is that i used my scissors and i have uh, these scissors that have this uh, like pattern in the blades so that is going to prevent my clothes from fraying uh, more than it was and uh, so that is it i'm sorry for all the pieces over there but yeah that's from the fabric and that's it okay so usually i have two metal tins where right now i'm keeping all of my floss and the first one is a tinkerbell box okay and here i keep all of my floss this was a gift uh from a dear friend but here i have all my dmc floss look at this and because these are brand new all i did was to uh classify them by colors and i have them into ziploc bags just to keep them really organized and uh, keeping them from getting tangled so that's what i uh, i am using right now but i'm gonna definitely change this and i'm gonna keep you posted of the changes that i'm gonna be doing with this uh floss so this is my first teen and then i have a cookie teen who doesn't have these uh, teens and they are super adorable i just love 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 them and um uh, this is what I use this plastic thingies to have all of my floss and if you see they are not uh, numbered or anything because these are um, this I got them like in thrift stores or yard sales and they don't have the little paper where you can see the numbers so I just organize them using these plastic things and they look so adorable and usually when i'm uh, working on my projects i just uh, um, buy all the colors that i need and then i come to this box and i look for the same color or similar color in case i can use them because i mean they're so beautiful so this is my second teen and then when i am uh working on a project like this one 
I have another box, but this is a cigar box. Those wooden boxes that you get anywhere, yard sales, thrift stores, and uh, sometimes on the curb, right? On the curbside. So this is how I keep all of the floss for my project, and I keep them organized using these drops. This is the name of these uh, uh, things. Okay, you can totally buy them on Etsy or eBay and they come in acrylic pieces, plastic pieces or cardstock pieces. Mine are made with a craft board and I got that uh, from Amazon because this is uh, a little bit thicker than the regular craft uh, cardstock. And so that's what I was looking for because you really need this to be sturdy. So if you see, I have uh, written over here the number of the floss color and also the uh, sign according to my pattern. So it's going to be easier for me to uh, have like everything organized and see what is it that I'm using. So if you see here, I have the complete floss. And then over here in this project, I'm using a two ply thread. So I cut my piece to the size that I really like to work with. And then here I have, um, since this is a six ply a thread, then I have four pieces or four plies over here. Okay. What I do different with these drops is that usually I've seen that um, you get to storage your drops, but you cut one side. I don't do that because otherwise, for me, that doesn't work. They get all tangled and I don't like that, okay? So I keep mine, if you see, they are not cut here. So I just stretch them because usually they come like this. This is not in a drop because this is metallic floss and this is different. This is a little bit uh, not thick, but this is like, this is very soft. This is not. So it gives me the impression that if I do this, it is gonna like break the fibers. So I prefer to keep this like this and in this tiny, metal tin. I keep all of my nails and a button. I don't know why. And I also have my scissors over here and I love these scissors. Super adorable. Okay. So this is the box that I carry with me all over the place with my project because it is super easy to carry it with me. Uh, not outside my house, but everywhere in my house where I'm sitting stitching okay and here is where I store my plastic are these bobbins yeah maybe right so this is where I uh, store them and if you remember in one of my whole videos I got this beautiful piece of furniture at the thrift store and that's the one that I'm using to keep all of my uh, bobbins the plastic ones and also my drops okay these are created in my Cricut machine but you can totally because I mean as I said you can buy them okay but please we are paper crafters ladies so we really ne need to make our own Okay, they're super easy. If you have a Cricut machine, all you have to do is look for a tag shape and then you use the circles. Okay, these are one and a quarter by two. Okay, one and a quarter by two inches. And then I used one and a half for the circle this is one quarter and this is one quarter, okay? Nothing fancy or complicated. And uh, I created this because I thought that I would use like a metal ring 
to keep all of my drops together but that wasn't working for me so it's okay they are already made so this is what I use to store them but if you don't have a Cricut machine that's fine you can use a paper punch that has a tag shape you can use a die and you can choose the size of your tag okay you don't need like a huge tag because as you see they're really tiny and all you use are these two holes to keep your floss super simple if you don't have a die if you don't have a paper punch or if you don't have um, um, a Cricut machine sorry for that you can totally trim your paper with your scissors or your paper trimmer what is it that you need two paper punches and even this that comes from Dollar Tree okay why simple you have your tag you're gonna punch the big one this is a uh, half of an inch and this is a quarter and you can punch this if you wanna uh, hand them and there you go tell me that it's not easy of course you know that I keep all of my papers and every time that I work with a different project as you can see over here I still have the hearts this is a post-it note I still have the paper hearts that I uh, that came out from the uh, candy holders that were numbs I have some stars over here some little hearts one of my flowers and these are all the circles that were cut in my Cricut machine that come from these drops and uh, yeah we use confetti we use um, chunky glitter we use um, fake um, tiny pieces for our shakers so why not this look at this they are super beautiful I'm gonna put them in a mini jar oh, that, those are bottles the ones that I use for my glitter and my sequins and all of that are little bottles so I'm gonna put these over there and keep them because I'm gonna start crafting for Christmas also and those are gingerbread beads how cool is that okay so this is what you need to create your drops and if you see they look amazing because they are super easy to put together and all you have to do is to add all of your threads oh my goodness isn't this so yummy okay and remember to write I use pencil because then you can erase this you can erase everything or you can erase just the sign depending on the project that you are working on but look at this they are super easy they don't tangle and I just love to look at them all together because they are super beautiful colors that I'm using this project that I am uh, stitching right now it is gonna be super long I've been posting for the past two weeks on my Instagram story uh, the progress of every week in my project so if you're interested in that you can go to my Instagram you can get the uh, direct li link on the top of my youtube channel so yeah so this is my share for today ladies I really hope that you get the idea this is not my invention or my idea or my discovery everybody uh, has tons of different ideas on how to make this this is my take of course uh, it is super easy to use your paper punches but you know me I love my Cricut machine and while it was cutting all of my drops I was working on something else so yeah that is the beauty of the Cricut machine so easy peasy and uh, you have an extra option if you don't have a paper punch if you don't have a die if you can't uh, trim this um, eyeballing the size or you don't have a Cricut machine you can always look for a tag shape online uh, they are for free and then you are going to draw it and use it as a template so the sky is the limit if you really want to organize your flaws this is a really nice way it is super working for me I love 
it and I'm so happy that I created my own drops because they look super amazing. So this is my share for today ladies. I really hope that you uh, give this a try because it is super easy, no, nothing fancy or complicated as always. And as I say, the sky's the limit. You can totally create this with different um, papers. You can use this craft or white cardstock and then create a, another layer with beautiful paper. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, share with your friends if you uh, are so kind to do that. I promise that I will be back very soon, but in the meantime, please take care of yourselves. Remember to always have a huge smile, and I will be seeing you very soon. Bye!